become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here continuing on the new larry scott series today we look at larry scott's tips on perfecting the lateral raise larry scott being a student of vince deronda had a lot of influence from the iron guru and similar to vince deronda Larry Scott had his own particular way of executing each movement. When it came to shoulder exercises, in particular deltoid raises, Larry Scott was a true master. Today we are going to look at Larry Scott's expert advice on correctly performing the lateral raise. And this information comes directly from his special report number two, titled How to Develop Massive Deltoids, available now on my website. This video will also feature a video demonstration of Larry Scott teaching the lateral raise to a very young Francis Benfato at the end of the video. Enjoy. Larry Scott was a big believer in dumbbell work for shoulder hypertrophy, stating you can build capped deltoids on nothing but dumbbells. Why? Because of the variety of exercises one can perform using dumbbells and the freedom of movement that dumbbells allow. Understanding that the shoulder joint can rotate 360 degrees means that one is rather restricted when using a barbell, whilst dumbbells offer a great variety of angles at which to hit the deltoid as well as a greater range of motion. In particular, dumbbells allow the execution of lateral raises at different angles. On performing the lateral raise, Larry Scott had the following to say. Look at what you're doing and use a mirror. In fact, try and stand in front of a mirror when you're doing lateral raises. And ideally, don't wear a t-shirt. Instead, try and wear a tank top or at least a singlet. You need to be able to see your deltoids work, in particular your rear deltoids. If you can just see the rear deltoids work during the side lateral raise, that means you're going to be doing the side lateral raise correctly. Now, a lot of you may be asking, why was Larry Scott so particular about being able to just see your rear deltoids whilst performing a lateral raise? Well, it's got to do with the double dip, as he calls it. Larry Scott had a very unique way of performing the lateral raise, incorporating what he referred to as the double dip, what, um, which is essentially a cheating movement during the performance of the lateral raise which prevents the traps from lifting the dumbbell. Uh, the way you perform the double dip is actually very, very simple. You have to, before you actually raise the dumbbells, you perform a little dipping motion by bending over at the waist. This little dip gives a slight assist to start raising, to, to allow you to start raising the dumbbells. And right before you get to the top of the movement, that is right before the dumbbells, uh, you know, just be, just above your shoulders, you dip again. Having, uh, performing this double dipping action basically keeps the traps out of the movement and helps isolate the side deltoids. Following is a vintage video of the great Larry Scott teaching a very young Francis Benfato how to correctly perform the lateral raise. No doubt that Francis Benfato learnt much from golden era legends such as Larry Scott, as he possessed one of the most aesthetic physiques during the 1990s. And along with bodybuilders such as Bob Paris, uh, these bodybuilders still represented the classic physiques during a transition when, body when bodybuilding turned to rewarding the mass monsters. Enjoy this rare video. Side lateral raises. I want to show you a movement that, that will really build great delta. Not that you don't have great deltoids already. I need more. You're trying to get this movement like this. You want to see rear deltoids in the mirror. If you can't see your rear deltoids, you're doing too much frontal deltoids. You don't want that. When you start going like this, it's frontal. You want to be like this. Now, this is also a forearm exercise. Because you've got to hold those dumbbells and you're kind of pressing it out there. 
coming like this. Boom. And then coincidentally, or not coincidentally, but parenthetically or whatever, you're also going to use the same movement on presses. The same thing. You're like this, bend overs, side laterals, presses. It's all the same. Yeah. The shoulder only knows where your elbow is. It doesn't know where your wrist is. So when I walk, so you're thinking shoulders. Yeah. My elbow. Elbows. Excuse me. You're thinking elbows. Where's the elbow? That's why when guys do like this, it's totally wrong. It's like this. And another thing, don't lift your shoulders. That's traps. If you build big traps, you'll never build big deltoids because they'll bully you. So you lift. And to, get, to keep them working traps, you cheat a little bit. So it's just shoulders. Okay, let me show you on a weight. They cross over and they come up. That's very good. I gotta get behind you. That looks great to me. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Larry Scott's bodybuilding principles, I mean, the man was a real master. Imagine the combined knowledge that he had from learning, from being basically Vince Gironda's greatest pupil, his own experience winning two Olympias, and then, and this is the great thing, in these reports, he doesn't just share that knowledge from the golden era, but he goes into the latest scientific data and um, findings in exercise science and puts it all together. So it's a rare opportunity to see all this combined uh, you know, old school principles combined with modern science. Essentially, that's what these reports are about. I was lucky to find Larry Scott's 45 special reports. I've got two up at the moment on my website, www.goldenerabookroom.com. Uh, the first being the greatest workout in the world. And second, how to build massive deltoids of which this video is based on part one, which is special report number two. If you're interested again, get on my website, www.goldenerabookroom.com. So I do hope you've enjoyed watching this video, these master tips from the expert, from the master himself, Larry Scott, on how to perfect the side raise, the lateral raise. Here is Larry Scott again, a great photo, where you can see him in the first photo here on the left, doing that bend, he's bending at the waist, performing that first dip, and then as he raises those dumbbells, you can see he's dipping his head further forward, right? So that's the double dip, essentially. You've seen it in the video demo. You see it here clearly in these photos. That's the double dip. Uh, a great tip from Larry Scott to isolate the side deltoids and, bring, and, and basically leave out the traps in the movement. It's brilliant. Every one of these reports are fantastic, full of great information, of course, from the legend, from the master himself, Larry Scott, one of Vince Gironda's greatest pupils and two-time Mr. Olympia. Hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Um, yeah. And please, if you're um, interested in, in uh, supporting my work, my research, please donate via PayPal, become a patron, visit my website for information on uh, old school bodybuilding books and courses, uh, especially those reports from Larry Scott as well. If you're interested in collaborating, please email me. And if you want to pass on your bodybuilding literature or relics, just email me. Uh, the links and information are given below. That's it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code BOOKWORM12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.